Imagine this, you're walking down the street, minding your own business, when suddenly, bam, someone punches you in the face. Uh, what? That's how cancer works. You don't see it coming, but your own body is attacking itself at the DNA level every single day. Wait, so my body is just randomly punching itself in the face? Pretty much. Right now, as you're listening to this, trillions of cells in your body are copying their DNA. And guess what? Mistakes happen. Some are harmless, but others, they're like a ticking time bomb. Okay, that's terrifying. But how often does this actually happen? Try 10,000 mutations per day. Yeah, per day. In your body, right now. And here's the kicker. Your lifestyle could be making it worse. Are you saying that I could be causing my own cancer? I'm saying that you might be stacking the odds against yourself. But don't worry, because in today's episode, we're going to break it all down. What triggers these DNA mistakes? Can you stop them? And the million dollar question, can we fix them? And if we can fix them, why aren't we curing cancer already? Yep, buckle up, because this episode is going to change the way you think about cancer, DNA, and maybe even your own habits. All right, quick question for you, listener. What do you think cancer actually is? A virus? A fungus? Some kind of evil, foreign invader? Ooh, I know this one. It's just a bunch of rogue cells, right? Not bad, but let's get a little darker. Cancer isn't an invader. It's not some external enemy attacking you. No, no, no. Cancer is you. Okay, that just gave me chills. Good, because here's the scary truth. Cancer happens when your own cells decide to betray you. They stop following orders, they multiply like crazy, and worst of all, they refuse to die. Let's go deep. Imagine your DNA is a giant instruction manual. Every cell in your body has a copy. And this manual tells your cells exactly what to do, when to grow, when to divide, when to stop, and most importantly, when to self-destruct if something goes wrong. Okay, so my DNA is like a rule book for my cells? Totally. And cancer? Cancer is what happens when those rules get corrupted. So it's like if you're playing a video game and suddenly the AI characters stop following the rules and start attacking everyone? Yes, just like that. Your cells go rogue. And the reason? Mutations in your DNA. Tiny errors that rewrite the instructions some of these mutations are accidents, just bad luck. Others, well, let's just say you might be helping them happen. Oh no. This is the part where you tell me I've been poisoning myself, isn't it? Look, I'm not here to judge, but let's just say your daily habits might be mutating your DNA as we speak. All right, fine. What am I doing that's so bad? Eating junk food? Sitting too much? Breathing? Patience, my friend. We're getting to that. But first, let's talk about the two biggest villains of the cancer world, oncogenes and tumor suppressors. All right, let's talk about the real masterminds behind cancer, oncogenes and tumor suppressors. One is the gas pedal, the other is the brakes. And when things go wrong, well, you can imagine the crash. Wait. Hold on. Gas pedal? Brakes? Are we still talking about DNA, or did this just turn into a driving lesson? Stay with me. Picture this. Your cells are like cars. They need to grow, divide, and move forward, but only when necessary. Oncogenes are like the accelerator. They tell cells to go, to divide, to keep the engine running. Okay, got it. So, what do tumor suppressors do? They're the brakes. They tell cells... Slow down, stop dividing, and if something looks wrong, shut it down completely. Now, imagine what happens if the accelerator gets stuck and the brakes fail at the same time. You get a car flying off a cliff? Exactly. And in your body, that's cancer. A mutated oncogene means your cells are constantly being told to divide, divide, divide. And if your tumor suppressors are broken, 
Nothing stops them. Okay, this is officially stressing me out. What actually mutates these genes? Ever gotten a sunburn? Congrats, that was your DNA screaming in pain. UV rays literally snap your DNA like a broken zipper. Each puff of a cigarette? That's like throwing a handful of darts at your DNA. Some miss, some don't. Your liver works hard, but when you drink too much, it creates chemicals that slice up your DNA like a bad horror movie. Processed foods. Yeah, sorry. Some preservatives and chemicals can cause oxidative stress, which messes with your DNA repair. X-rays, radon gas, even some medical treatments. High energy waves can rip through DNA like bullets through paper. This one's weird, but chronic stress can shorten telomeres, the protective caps on your DNA, making mutations more likely. So you're telling me that between my morning coffee, my occasional drink, my love for bacon, and the stress of this conversation, I'm basically mutating myself every day? Pretty much, but don't panic just yet. Your body actually has an amazing repair system. The problem? It's not perfect. And when the damage stacks up, well, that's when trouble starts. Okay, so is there anything I can do to stop this or should I just accept my fate? That, my friend, is what we're talking about next, how to fight back. All right, we've scared you enough. Now let's talk about solutions, because here's the thing. Cancer isn't inevitable. Your body has an entire security team working 24 7 to keep rogue cells in check. The question is, are you helping them or making their job harder? Wait, wait. You're saying my body already fights cancer? Absolutely. Your immune system is like a highly trained SWAT team constantly scanning for trouble. When a cell goes rogue, immune cells, like natural killer cells, swoop in and destroy it before it can cause damage. That's awesome. So why do some people still get cancer? Great question. Sometimes the immune system misses a bad cell. Other times, cancer cells evolve tricks to hide from the immune system. That's when things get dangerous. Once upon a time, our only weapons against cancer were surgery, radiation and chemotherapy. And while they're still used, we now have game-changing treatments that are smarter and more targeted. We have immunotherapy. Instead of poisoning cancer cells with chemo, immunotherapy trains your immune system to recognize and attack them. It's like giving your body a hit list of bad guys. Gene editing, CRISPR. This is wild. Scientists are experimenting with using CRISPR to fix cancer-causing mutations right at the DNA level. Like editing a typo in a document, except that typo could kill you. Targeted therapies. Unlike chemo, which attacks everything, targeted drugs go straight for cancer cells and leave healthy ones alone. Precision medicine at its finest. Wait. You're telling me we can edit DNA to remove cancer? That sounds like science fiction. I know, right? But it's real. We're in an era where scientists are literally rewriting genetic mistakes. Are we close to a cure? That's the big question. The truth, some cancers are already curable with current treatments. Others, we're getting closer. Let me take you back to 2013. There was a groundbreaking experiment that would pave the way for future cancer treatments. It all started with a research team led by Dr. Carl June at the University of Pennsylvania. They were working on a new technique called CAR-T cell therapy. CAR-T stands for Chimeric Antigen Receptor T-cell. Sounds complicated, right? But it's basically a way to reprogram your immune system to fight cancer cells. So here's the deal. Normally, T-cells in your immune system are responsible for spotting and destroying harmful cells, like viruses or infected cells. But cancer cells are sneaky. They can hide from the immune system. That's where CAR-T comes in. The experiment was simple, but revolutionary. They took a patient with leukemia, one of the most aggressive forms of blood cancer, and extracted their T-cells. These cells were then sent to the lab, where scientists reprogrammed them by adding a special receptor. This receptor would allow the T-cells to recognize and attach to a specific protein found on the surface of the cancer cells. 
Essentially, the T-cells were turned into cancer-killing machines. Once the T-cells were modified, they were infused back into the patient's body. And what happened next? The patient's own immune system, now armed with these specially programmed T-cells, went to war against the cancer. The results were stunning. The patient had nearly no other treatment options left, but after this therapy, she went into remission. Her leukemia, after being resistant to traditional treatments, was completely gone. Now that's not the end of the story. This experiment, while successful, wasn't without its risks. Some patients did experience severe side effects like cytokine release syndrome, CRS, which is a dangerous inflammatory response. But despite the challenges, CAR-T therapy showed the world that we could use the immune system to specifically target and kill cancer cells, opening up a whole new frontier in cancer treatment. Since then, CAR-T therapy has been expanded to treat other cancers like non-Hodgkin lymphoma, and several CAR-T therapies have been approved by the FDA. It's a shining example of how innovation and science can completely change the way we approach something as devastating as cancer. And it all started with a bold experiment, a little bit of creativity, and a lot of hope. We are day by day closer to the cure, but for now, early detection still saves the most lives, so if I take away one thing from this episode, it's don't wait until it's too late. Bingo. Know your risks, get screened, and take care of your DNA. Because trust me, you want your body to stay on your side. All right, let's step back for a second. We've talked about cancer, DNA damage, scary mutations, but here's the real takeaway. Your DNA is not a ticking time bomb. It's a story, a story that you help write every single day. Okay, that actually makes me feel better. But what do you mean by writing my DNA's story? Think about it. Every choice you make, what you eat, how you move, how you handle stress, it's like adding or removing chapters from the book of you. Sure, some things are out of our control, but most of the time, you have way more power over your health than you think. So instead of freaking out about cancer, I should focus on giving my body the best shot at fighting it? It would be the best. Your body wants to stay healthy. Your immune system is always working. Your DNA repair mechanisms are constantly fixing damage and new treatments are changing the game. The best thing you can do, work with your body, not against it. Get screened. Early detection saves lives. Simple as that. Fuel your body. Don't just feed it. Give your cells what they need to stay strong. Move, because your body is designed for it. Even small changes make a difference. Sleep, breathe, and de-stress. Your DNA will thank you. Okay, I gotta say, I came into this episode feeling like my DNA was doomed, but now, I feel kinda empowered. Good, because that's the truth. Cancer isn't an unstoppable force. It's a puzzle, and we're getting better at solving it every single day. All right, that's it for today's episode. We hope it made you think a little differently about your health and what you can actually control. And don't forget, if you enjoyed our episode, you can support us by liking, subscribing, or sharing this podcast with your friends. Every click helps us grow. And if you want to help us even more, you can support us via PayPal. Every bit of support goes into improving the podcast and creating more amazing content. So if you found value in what we do, leave us that like or hit subscribe and be sure to tune in because we've got more exciting episodes coming your way. Exactly. We look forward to having you back with us. Take care.